Okay, just got back in from the day. Let me take this jacket off. And I decided, it's the afternoon, late afternoon. I think it's after four. I'm not sure, but I got me some, uh, I bought this the other day. I put it up earlier. Some uh, Negro Mandillo. This in a Dos Equis is what I learned in Mexico. I was traveling to Mexico, just a little bit. That sort of thing. No. So I'm having an afternoon drink. Probably the only time I have Negro Mandela this whole trip because, you know, I just do that. You know what I mean? What I'm saying is like, a, well, if I find another Guinness, I'll probably do that. But you know what I'm saying. I'm not going to do that. But this, hey, this might be a long one. She so might want to tune away. But by the way, let us be clear. <laughs> you understand. <laughs> Gosh, this channel, when, even if it's ADOS, when I'm just talking to you like this, I'm riffing because um, this channel was first started because I wanted to record um, my adventures, whatever it is, not adventures, but stuff that I did in my life because I'm making a, a it's a long, complicated thing, but eventually it's be turned into like books or something like that. So the stuff that appears on this stream of the channel, like ADOS or some other streams, if I'm just talking, it means that I'm just talking, right? But what you should be doing, if you're going to look at this channel, a Anthony J, so, well, you know that because you're on the channel, then look at the interviews. The interview is the most important thing. That's when I'm not on the thing and I'm talking to people and I'm more focused because right? I have questions, blah, 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 blah. And um, I'm not meeting that. Well, I'm an interviewer, which is different, arguers. Um, but this is going to take long because I, um, because I decided I just came back from the VA, because I, you know, I've been going to the VA since I've been here, that's what I do. But I, see, the, one of the things I had to do was I had this foot problem, you know? Well, I'll say foot problem, not two, whatever. And, but then I go, this is my uh, twice yearly checkup. I get a checkup down in South Africa, but this was down there. And so, you know, there's all kinds of things, and the VA now, they, they really want to help the veterans. I don't know why, but they do, which is different from before. So some departments, they expand and whatever it is. I think they have a partnership here in New York with NYU or some some other, some doctors. Over, like the doctor I saw today, he's at NYU, Bellevue. You know, he's at Bellevue and uh, someplace else, or thing, whatever. So anyway, the first thing I found out is my feet. There's something wrong with my, my big toe, whether it got fused, something like that. So I had to go out and buy new kicks. They're making shoes for me, and which I forgot to go up to the thing. I gotta go back tomorrow. Anyway, so I had to go and get some new kicks, some new sneakers, right? Now, see, you have to understand about my, my thing. For some reason, I'm always, I'm, I'm like ahead of the curve. I can't explain this to you exactly, you know what I mean? But I'm ahead of the curve. Like when New Balance first came out, I had them before they came out because I was at a flea market in New Jersey. You know, a big um, a flea market in New Jersey. That's why I got this a long time ago. You know, all kinds of things, rollerblades, everything I get ahead of time. But, you know, everybody gets, you all get these, um, what do you call those, um, uh, you know, the, 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 the Jordans and the Nikes and everything like that. But this one here, uh, for for my foot problem, I always needed a big wide toe, a wide not too wide, but wider shoe. Now, this is a um, a hooker shoe. Hooker. See that hooker? I'm not trying to advertise the people. I'm just trying to tell you. Now, this is a different kind of a shoe. It's expensive. Well, it cost me $170-something, which I don't have. That's sort of out of my budget for this thing. Right? I had to get it because my feet were, were a thing. But it's a special shoe. They have some weird thing technology in here that does some other things like that. And then I got from the VA, I got a special insert i took their insert out i got a special insert to get a higher a higher thing so those are the kind of things i have to do for my feet um that's thing and of course oh hey right, she noticed some more glasses my third <laughs> the va gives you three pairs of glasses a year so if you get medicare for all they at least give you one pair so you know i don't know i'm not doing any advertising for anybody but you know like that but uh these are, I like these, and they're, they're sunglasses. They're just keeps out the UV rays, which is which is when they cause those floaters. And my floaters are actually gone. You know what I mean? Well, they're gone. They've been gone since I put those other things on. Anyway, so I'm having this thing. But now, so this one is dedicated to. I'm going through my bag. This is what I brought in today. I carried this today. I just came from. Uh, let me see. It was main compartment. Let's do the main compartment first. See what's in there. And uh, oh, forgot this. I went and start stepped at uh, Whole Foods. I had to get some vegan A's. But this is soy-free vegan A's, right? Soy-free. They only have them in small small bottles. You know, so I got the soy-free vegan A's because I like vegan A's. 
less junk in it, I guess, you know. And it's soy feed means it's there. So, more medicine for the VA. Yeah, you hold there, stay there. Oh, I'm reading a book. Oh, no, I have um, um, Yvette's, well, Yvette's book, you know, Martin Luther King book, um, Where Do We Go From Here? I've been reading it. I, I'm pretty well finished, but I want to wait till next week, you know, to, to the last thing so I can be fresh in my mind, go with them. I'm reading, um, oh, Jeffrey Deaver. I like Jeffrey. I always have to have a book. It's strange, when I'm in New York, what I do is I, I can read, I read on the subway. You know what I mean? I don't do the, 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 the uh, you know, the, the Android thing like that. Um, what else is in here? Oh, oh, well, this is important. Let's see. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is still at conference. I told you about that. The, the Towards Reparations thing was sponsored by um, the Race Forward and the Center for Constitutional Rights. You know, this panel where they didn't mention ADOS one time. They 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 simply saying black people, people of color, black people, blah, 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 blah. So they, they're not into ADOS. But one of the things, and I keep on trying to figure out why this really bothered me so much. It didn't bother me as much as it But then I realized when I interviewed this woman at the end, this Malisha, um, and, you know, she's the one with this. She said that she had she had her, her father-in-law was, was Jamaican, saying nothing about her husband, you know. And I'm trying to figure out, and I, and I realize, and this is the one I said that the, the white people, I, I'll po I won't post it, but it's there when I'm talking about that. There's, there's like snakes, and they, they, this whole movement is trying to toward ADOS. They're trying to strangle the movement and the thing, you know, they're trying to load panels and stuff like that, putting out all kinds of, you know, this big old toolkit for reparations and what they're, they're calling like that. But then I realized what it is. Hey, you know what it is? It's karma. All them times, all, see all those, because those, they always mention Marcus Garvey, they mention Shirley Chisholm, but all those people that came after 19, you know, 1968, really into the night, the 90s, those people really came in the 90s, those are the worthy toys that was really trying to, to bite off the system. Somebody, the word got out, hey, if you come to America and you say you black, you get all kinds of stuff, you know? And if you're a woman, you get all kinds of stuff. So they started doing that. And so when they started to come in, those people with that mentality came in, and then more of them got their, they became cabals, you know, like them. Same thing, like, like, like somebody was telling me at the ADUS, a meetup in New York, you know, the, the Bronx, you know, ADUS, no, you know, I know my neighborhood is like a lot of Belizean stuff. I like Belize people. Hey, I, you know, Bronco Belize, my, my favorite place on the planet. But anyway, um, so I realized it's karma. You know, if they're trying to keep on stacking their deck, you know, where they're gonna, you know, immigrants will get get get, get licenses and all the rest of that stuff. And all we're saying, ADOS is at, at, at we're we're at the, the beginning of the queue. You know what I mean? Before you get everything, we're citizens. Before you get anything, we're supposed to get anything. They don't want to hear that. You know? Oh no, we're all black. We're all black. We're all black. It ain't gonna fly. It ain't gonna fly. Oh, Elijah Cummins uh, passed today. Condolences to his family. Condolences to black people. For all the stuff that he didn't do for us. But um, let me just, uh, this is the ADOS conference, some notes from the ADOS conference, um, the day there's a meetup that we had um, uh, for the New York uh, yesterday. I didn't go over this. But one of the things that was most important to me, because and so we, we, they, they posted a picture, uh, you know, and then somebody, somebody put a comment, you know, say something, do some derogatory thing, you know, about going away to Dodo Bird or something like that. And it's interesting because one of the things we said at the conference, I said, we had the meetup, is that, you know, just know it. Don't, don't, don't engage the trolls. Let's leave them alone. Let, let them say what they want to say. But one of the things, to the point three here, uh, the tribe is always first, tribe meaning the ADOS, right? Uh, when it comes to your personal political motives, the good of ADOS is always your first and primary voting and advocacy concern. Remember, your voting and advocacy group. Advocacy. Um, we are not monolithic and may have diverse opinions on what is good for the tribe, but we, but what we all share is the idea that we put our needs first. This is really, really important. I mean, there's there's some other there's some other points. Maybe we'll, we'll get to some other time. I don't want to spend time on that. This is really important. And the other thing is that um, right recently. Uh, I was listening to Yvette this morning. I taped, well, I listened to the, uh, the her Wednesday program, you know, this morning. This is Thursday. Uh, because, well, because. Um, and uh, one of the things said, there's people going around, you know, trying to do the, I guess, the Black Panther for self-defense, but right, guns or whatever have you. I guess they think they're going to shoot cops or something like that. <sighs> Don't you know? Never mind. I'm going to get into that. But we're a political group. That's the point. 
we're not. We, if you if you want to do that, don't 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 throw ADOS just because they don't throw ADOS in there like that. So that so that's that's really good. What else I have in here? Oh, I have my. Uh, hey, where's my thing here? Oh, okay, that's it. Oh, my bag, which has my. I kind of get another note. What's this? Oh, it's my doctor's thing. My doctor. Um, but um, I take notes all the time. But I got to get me more. I got to get another notebook because this is running out. Well, it's not running out yet. So I got to get that. My notes for uh, the book is in there too. Oh, tissue. Oh, keep that in there just in case. Uh, what else is in here? You always find good, in interesting things in your in your in your bag. Oh, what's, oh, I know what this is. Oh, this is Twelve Million Black Voices pro pro uh, project. This is going to come some other time. You know, Twelve Million Black Voices is an it's an, a it's an ADOS project that I want to do. Uh, audio, audio, audio drama. All right, let's open this part here. What's this? Uh, I haven't opened this in a long time. Let's see what's in here. My fine things you should know about. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. What's this? Uh, Another Chance Productions. Scripted Dramas Community Programming. Oh, somebody must be that no audio. Oh, it's fucking academic. Oh, this is uh, Army. It's Army's, I think. Uh, this here is, what is this here? No worries. It's not too boring. Uh, George Reese Center. Oh, I gotta get back to him because uh, uh, um, now this is the you see that the 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 photo people they do real photograph, real whatever reproductions or whatever that is. I'm gonna get to that. Oh, Chimaranga. Oh, before I get to Chimaranga, what the heck is this? Oh, this is the Mayan. Four hundred twenty-four rand. What are your TV series? Oh, my cable. What my cable is Cape Town. Um, Oh, this is the Mayan calendar um, where you can figure out your Mayan, you know, thing or whatever have you. Oh, I gotta put that back in there. Carry that all the time. Oh, this is a special uh, when uh, was it was the uh, uh, um, uh, this was when I was doing Tai Chi, but some people came. This is special breathing techniques used by this, this ancient order, and it was the Hullen brothers had come to the to the to, to the Tai Chi. Dojo, I guess we don't call them dojos, but the Tai Chi um, uh, space, and uh, they were they taught us this. Um, or they they had a master, you know, the Asian master teaches us. So this carry, I carry this around with me all the time. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, Von Springer Missionary Baptist. What the hell? Uh, what the heck is this? Oh, I don't know what this is. Norman Size. Oh, senior pastor. Oh, this is Norman Size. But this is a uh, from Louisville. Uh, uh, I like them. Black American DOS Caucus. Black American DOS Caucus. A Black A M D O S Caucus dot com. Finding economic parity and spiritual fa fairness for Black Americans descendants of slavery. Okay, so I must have got that that at the conference too. Oh, here's the political woman out of uh, where is she? Oh, okay, she's doing her thing. Oh. This is interesting. Oh, this is my thing for uh, I'm back at the the uh, 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 the this is my free pass in in Senegal in the in the, in the um, Muslim world. This is a, a marabou, the big big time marabou when he was 42 years old. This is my this gets me out of trouble in Senegal. That's precious. I gotta keep that like that. But here is look at this. I got my chimaranga. These are my. Uh, Chimaranga is it's a, it's it's a word in Shona that means a, a revolutionary struggle, or in our case that we're doing here, uh, uh, the struggle within. You know, all these people sniping at ADOS, that's the struggle we got. And, you know, we got to separate the wheat from the chaff and all the rest of that stuff. But um, uh, this is Chimaranga magazine. and uh, But I always carry this around. I got to get a smaller one this again. And this is uh, Ziggy Marley reading the Bible. I always carry this around. But uh, Chimaranga magazine is it's a literary magazine. Really good literary magazine. Really good, I mean. Excellent. Uh, so that's what's all in there. So that's the thing I just showed you. Now, what else is in here? Hey, got a bunch of cards. Oh, here's my uh, IDs, my uh, Virginia license thing. Some other. Oh, here's my VA card. Stuff is in there. Okay, that's that's. I've got pens. Always have pens around someplace. What's in there? I don't know. Nothing's in there. What else is in the bag? And you should go over your bag once. It's 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 uh what is it's fall right now. It's getting to be fall. We got the leaves falling right there. In fact, when I came down from um, from uh, Chicago, speaking of Chicago, look at this. 
This is supposed to be a uh, Devil Dogs. It's supposed to be a famous Chicago place. So I stopped it. I didn't get the hot dogs. I'm not really into hot dogs. I forgot what I got. I got uh, I got something, you know, but it was something, uh, not a slider. I forgot what I got. Uh, maybe it was a chicken, something like that. Anyway, veggie lovers, they get this big old menu. But the place is always packed, crowded. So that, I like when I go to, I like to go to tourist bus. I like Chicago, by the way. I mean, I didn't, I walked around whatever happened. That's where I saw, uh, uh, what's the name, uh, Joker, which I insist is an A. <laughs> I get in trouble, so it's, a, it's ADOS. I know you don't know that, like that. Uh, this is a, the history of Seoul, two thousand sixty-five. Barbara, oh, this is a book. This is a this is a, a fantasy uh, a book, um, and and uh, I don't know. She, she it's from Nebula Award novelist. Oh, finalist. Oh, anyway, this is, it's it's a friend of mine's uh, woman, and she just published her book. She just going book tour soon. Um, uh, ADOS again, but but Chicago man. When I was doing the, uh, I did this whole thing on 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 Joker. How Joker was ADOS. If you look at Joker as his makeup, you know, make the makeup. You know, that's red, white, and blue. Everybody wants to be, you know, white, the white, the white, the white American, because that's the guy with all the power, you know. But behind that, all these people that want to be that. Crazy people, black people, you know, whatever, whatever you want to call them, they want to be that. Anyway, it's a whole analysis I did. Uh, maybe I did part of it, uh, but I'm the only one that's going to come up with something like that because I think like that. Black and Medeos, that's a, that's a, another. No, here's the ADOS. Dot New York uh, thing. Interesting thing happened. Oh, here's that same reparations thing that from the Center for Center. For, there's no path to justice without adequate remedy to repair the material harms and the perpetual legacy of slavery. It's still on slavery, right? Um, and so, uh, and then you're supposed to write, I committed to, then you write that on there, you write your name there, and then you put a date that you think is gonna happen, and then they, somehow they're gonna send this back to you. I don't know, it's, it's one of those NGO exercises, but you can tell they got some money because they can do stuff like that. Yeah, what else is in here? Oh, oh my Altoids. I was trying to turn on Altoids when I was working for Sopranos. You know, a movie set, and when they first came out, the like 2000s, the movie sets, you get all kinds of stuff that, you know, are new and on the horizon. Like legal services, oh, this is that guy, that uh, lawyer. Uh, oh, this is the thing I used to do, they used to explain AWS. They say, right now you have all these organizations, what they are, whatever, NAACP, uh, Urban League, Nation of Islam, doesn't matter, the Moors, whoever they are. Everybody's on the spear. And at certain times, people become the tip of the spear. Right now, they do us the tip of the spear. And these folks don't want to accept that. So a lot of these folks don't want to accept that. You know, the whole tip, whoever don't want to accept that, you know? But you have to accept that somebody's got to be the tip of the spear. Because you had your chance, you didn't do it. So now, they do us the tip of the spear, peace through, and everybody can go through. You see? Simple. Hey. Hmm. Oh. Uh, maybe chew my outdoors so I can show my beer. Oh, this and that. Oh, next part, next compartment. What's in here? Let's see the brother opens up the door. Oh, this is when I was at the, um, you know, the the the, the um, National Museum of African American History and Culture. Like, right? kind of interesting. It's supposed to be African American. Did they have one thing there? But my man, man Jay Smooth was there. And Jay Smooth, don't worry about it. Jay Smooth is, is, is in there. He's got one of those techniques or whatever. And they talk about the immigrant experience, whatever happened. Interesting. He's not an immigrant. He's like, you know, part of the US or something else. Anyway, because this layout, you know, they have all the floors. It's a huge thing. You got to go like two or three times. Well, not two. You can't. You got to spend at least two days. You know, one day is not going to do. Or maybe one day may do for you. Or oh, my headphones. Oh, like that. i put my new glasses back on. These are prescription, but it's, it's tinted. It's like sunglasses. I like them. <laughs> oh, yeah, and here's a case for them. Cute little case. Ah. Like I said, you should turn away from the channel. You know, do something, do something else because I'm going through this stuff. It's just for my own record. I always carry chopsticks with me. I like eating with chopsticks. Chopsticks, like, it, 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 it makes you eat slower, you know, which is good for you. And, uh, you know, I just like chopsticks. It's as simple as that. No, no big cultural statements, no whatever statement. Oh, another little pocket in here. What's in here? Oh. Oh, press stick. 
this is what you in South Africa we use this, but this is like this, it's like a like um, what do you call it, like silly putty back in the day, you know. So I guess it's derivative silly putty, and you use this to paste, you know, you 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 paste things on the wall with it when you're doing when you're doing workshops and stuff like that. Well, that's right. Well, I put it back in there. I might need it like that. And then I also have. Oh, it's my man Rob that made my chip, my my, my custom made shirts. You know, he's got all the things. That, you know, I think got uh, uh, you know, uh, Garvey is born in the seventeenth so or seventeen. You know, you have uh, you know, truth, whatever. So Journey Truth, of course, she's born in the seventh or something. I don't know why do you have Ali forty two. What does that mean? I don't know. Anyway, so it's, it's, he's a it's a brother. It's, uh, uh, the Conscious Clothing Company dot com. Harlem Memorabilia dot com. That's his. That's his thing. A little plug for Ra. Uh, oh, uh, index cards. I like them in different colors. So I have to write. So I'm saying I got to write little notes. Keep them. Writing is good for you. You should actually write write stuff down because the the, the, the thing that was from brain to hoam and in on the page is a different process than to go from brain to mechanical thing. I mean, I do them both, but I like like the other thing better. Okay, that's my thing. I went to weather. Hey, that's it. I went through the whole thing. Huh. Oh, oh wait a second. I forgot. I know I missed it. Ah, I love this little pouch. I've had this since the, since the 90s. This was carried with me all over. This this place has been to a, this pouch has been to a lot of countries. You know, I forgot this section here. This is where I have my, this is the, uh, my opus. <coughs> What's this here? Oh. Oh, this is my this is my wife's card where she has a business number, a business registration, whatever have you. But here is a, a thing that has the uh, I think this has the uh, yeah it's the foot yeah the foot the reflexology chart. I carry that around with me. And yeah, but this is my little opus when we did the outsider eight and a half hour live audio drama. You know, huge. This is the cast here. That's what I do. I'm an audio dramatist. That's what I do most. You know. I mean, you have to fulfill your destiny, you know? I realized that when I was at the ADUS meetup the other day, it was an interesting thing that happened, because it happens to me all the time. We took a long time. Uh, oh, here. Yeah. Oh, by the way, let me say this again. I say this a lot. Though. Oh, there's a last audio drama I did, a big audio drama I did in New York a long time ago. Uh, Glorious Monster in the, Battle of the, in the Bell of the Horn. The Larry Neal play. The Larry Neal Black Arts play. Glorious Monster in the Bell of the Horn. Uh Really good. It did it like a Peter Wolf, Peter Peter and the Wolf thing, you know. They had the actors and then you had musicians, jazz, big time jazz musicians behind them. Very good. But I always have a, a copy, a color copy of my passport that goes around me. When you travel, you should do that because sometimes you have to leave your passport in the in the thing. And for all you people that want to be whatever you want to be, your Pan Africans, whatever have you. But that's not your nationality. Your nationality is on your passport. I point out to the other time. It says nationality right there. It says, what does it say right there? It says, uh, uh, what's the database? Nationality, national, uh, some, whatever it is, national dad. I guess it's uh, English, French, and Spanish. They put these things in. United States of America. So my nationality is United States of America, or as for short, what they say is American. So when you go there and you try to say, I'm ADOS. Well, no, you're American. Well, yeah, you're, you're American. Well, you try to say, I'm Pan Africanist. Well, you don't have a Pan African passport, you know. I'm more well you don't have a more passport. I'm no. Yeah. I no. You're American. You got one of these, you're American. You could try to be something else, but that's what you are. What the heck is this? Oh, this is uh I don't know what this is. Okay, unity thing. What is this? Oh, this is just another copy of my passport, I think. I don't know, in black and white. This shouldn't even be there. I should get rid of this, but I'll leave it for now. I don't know why I have it in there. So that's the stuff I just went through my bag. My fall cleaning, my fall re whatever. I, I, that means I have to clean this stuff out. Oh, look at the sign. On the side of me, I, just, uh, I always carry a little bit of water, just in case it gets stuck someplace. And on this side, I don't know. Oh, this is, some, oh, this is a, a thing that holds stuff. You know, when it's, I guess you hold your water in your beer or whatever it is. But I'm not, not really, I'm drinking beer now, but I'm not really a big beer drinker. So there you go. But, oh, I want to say something. So this this thing about karma is kind of interesting. So last night at the meeting, and we were around very patiently. Everybody's telling their story. Boom, boom, boom. And it took 
took a while, took the whole meeting. Da, 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 da. Then it comes, this guy tells the story. Then the brother next to me is a young brother. You know, he's, he's probably the youngest in the room. He's like, say he was 22, 23, right? And I'm probably one of the oldest, the oldest guy, you know, 69, right? So he does this thing. When he finishes, this other guy, you know, this other brother, he says, oh, he forgot something. He wants to say something. So when it's come to my turn, here, I'm ready. I'm interrupted, right? This is the story of my life. Okay, so he says something. And then this other sister wants to interrupt him. So I get interrupted twice. Say, okay, fine. Then I go on to my thing. I start my thing. Then I get interrupted by this other sister over here. They're saying that, well, we, we're special time. I said, no, I'm time conscious, right? So why do I... <laughs> Everybody else had their time to meander, whatever have you. I'm concise because I'm, I'm conscious about this stuff. Not when I'm doing this like this. But why do I? But this is what happens to me all the time. I'm at the end or something like that. I'm always the person that's rushed or whatever it is like that. It's kind of really interesting. Maybe that's the underlying reason why I started this channel, because I can't be interrupted. And if you want to interrupt me, just turn it off. That's the whole particular point. You know, it's for, not the channel, but well, this playlist of the channel, you know. So it's really, really interesting. You, you, you sort of live out your your, your, your life. Uh, this has actually been a thing. That it's also been prophesied someplace that I'm never the, and I explained this, to the, I explained this somewhat to the to ADOS last night, ADOS New York last night, uh, which is like, um, there's your, you know, there's your celebrities, like, like people, celebrities or your, your whatever, the people, like, 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 like Yvette and Tone, we get our marching office orders from them. So you're supposed to listen to them. Now have your own bright ideas. If you're going to be part of ADOS, you know, you have your own bright ideas, sure, but they have to be within the within the code. You know what I mean? That's what that that's what that whole um this thing right here is about. We're trying to codify. I think that tone called in, he says something about that. They're gonna finally try to codify it. But I like the way I like the way the pace of ADOS is going. You know what I mean? The little groups they'll come up with things and they'll they'll codify. And we'll have other opportunities. Uh, uh, but anyway, so you have the people on whatever. Then you have the powers behind the throne, if you will. Then you have the glue. I'm part of the glue class. I'm like a zealot. You know what I mean? I've been to a lot of little different things. I can't even explain to you. National Writers Union, when it first started, right there. Well, a bunch of things, you know? Anyway, um, but we'll have opportunities. But I'm really liking about this. Like, for instance, this whole thing with the Supreme Court. We're going to be down there on the 13th of, of um, uh uh, November, I think that's when the hearing is. I got to be back on 14th, got to get to, to a ADOS uh, radio program, FBA, I still, you know, doing what they're supposed to be doing. But, um, but Tone told about that, you know, we don't just have to be in the in the courtroom, if you will, if you can get in, you know, but we should be demonstrating on the, on the steps those days before. So, ADOS New York will probably get a bus, well, get a bus, you know, or come down together, probably have a, a B and B. So we'll be able to meet up for two or three days. You know, I mean, people keep on meeting up, and that's be the, that'll be the time we have the really sort of bonding and strategizing about certain things. You know, perhaps I'm just trying to say this is the kind. This is the thing I'm waiting for for a movement in the '60s. What we used to do, we used to have meetings. They, they might start at six o'clock in the evening, and they would go all the way to the next day <laughs> to resolve an issue. You know, it's one of those like you know. Uh, 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 Ella Josephine Baker kind of meetings, you know what I mean? Where you go you know, all night with stick, that kind of thing. And so this is like a revival. This, this is interesting. ADOS is getting to a point where they're bringing everything together, that a whole lineage to, to, to together. Everything, we, every strategy that has been done before, I think is going to happen again. But a more concentrated and, and thought provoking way. And this is what, I, what makes me happy about ADOS. So that's it for me. T from the Patterson's taking the trenches to bed, letting you know what I only suspect as I finish up my Nagra Modella. You know, yeah. <laughs> Think about it. So I have to say one more thing, but this comes from Mexico. All those people that come up, you know, where you come from, Guatemala, whatever have you, you, you run away from your struggles there to come here and, and basically, you know, uh, uh, down, uh, look down on ADOS. But that's karma. It's coming back. You know what I mean? You don't want to fight where you are. You in Nigeria, you didn't, you, Ken uh, Sarawewa, you, you, Sarawewa you, you, didn't, you didn't do anything for him like that? Well, guess what? You ran away from that struggle. You think you're going to come here and, and eat our fruit and not, and, not, and not engage in our struggle? It ain't going to happen. You know, the whole thing, you let Michael Manley and his government go, you, you, know, this, you run up from Jamaica and, went, and Michael Manley and them, you know, you let them go. No, got to go back. Got to got to work. Got to work. Got to do your work. Got to do your struggle. It's your struggle. This is our struggle. You don't want to help us our struggle? Well, we're not helping you become citizens that eat off of us. Well, not citizens. There's barnacles that eat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. That's all I have to say, really.